Singapore has one of the best public transport systems in Asia. More than 4 million journeys happen each day. Despite this, taxis have remained a popular mode of transport for those looking to save time or just a more comfortable ride. And it is in the taxi space that we are seeing some very interesting business model innovations. Grab Taxi is a mobile app uh, that allows a commuter to get a taxi through their smartphone. Grab Taxi entered Singapore in 2013. We are doing more rides today in one day than we did in the whole of January. Traditionally, big taxi companies owned both the taxi fleets as well as the tech infrastructure, including booking facilities using apps, messaging and phone calls. Recently though, a new wave of companies have emerged that bypass the hardware and offer purely software solutions to let commuters book a cab. These are two different business models, you know. The old traditional model uh, had the fleet and also provided the system to book a taxi. Grab Taxi, for instance, is a case. They allow you to have access to the entire fleet uh, from the different operators, that is 28,000 taxis. In real time, you can make the booking, as opposed to uh, if you have to use an operator-based system, you have to have multiple applications. Naturally, these two business models offer very different user experiences. Take taxi drivers, for instance. Which model benefits them the most? Now uh, a lot of people uh, the hand over uh, you know why? Uh, they on call already uh, like they all stay inside, you on call already. Uh, the taxi coming in already, they call back to the, uh, com the company to cancel. But cancel the uncle will go back to green color. So you must come out again, ma. And he cancel ma. But he already waiting outside already. You know what I mean? You want to save the tree, tree, tree something or do something lah. Of course, it's big hour 3.30 lah. Something no good lah, the company no good, you know. If the passenger cancel, cancel the call huh? you will nothing lose ma. But we all lose ma, we lose our timing ma. We have to pay rent now, for the rent 1 day 123 lah, for the car. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 plus the diesel money ah. You know you at least must drive 7 hours ah. Free, you know. One hour average $35. The business models for, for a taxi booking app like us and a traditional um, taxi company is very, very different. Right? From, a, from a business model perspective, uh, we, we make our revenue, we generate revenue from each transaction and it's typically about 30 cents per transaction. So if you look at if you take uh, an average taxi driver who takes maybe 30 jobs a day, and if they take all the, tax, all the jobs with Grab Taxi, we make about $9 a day from that taxi driver. Whereas for a traditional taxi company, uh, where they rent out their taxis to their drivers, they make anywhere between $80 to $130 um, per day from each driver. So that's the main difference. The biggest challenge from the commuter's perspective is the struggle to get a cab at certain localities at peak hours. Most of the times when you actually call them to really Uber in this kind of area where the CBD is, right? They might not just run up early or late traffic jams. Yeah. So when you call agencies, you have no problems. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when the peak period of 5 or especially in the morning, you want to have a taxi, it's kind of like very difficult because these are the time where they change and these are the time where people like to take taxi to work or you know places they want to go. By, by getting, getting back from the office, which is in the shipyard area, sometimes I have to wait more than one hour to get a taxi, which is very inconvenient. So that's also back to the MRT. If the MRT were there, I would take it. Despite having a large number of taxis on the streets, why is this bottleneck being created? Despite having 28,000 taxis 
on the road. We're doing about 900,000 rides a day. But if you compare that to Hong Kong, for example, right, they, they have 18,000 taxis, so significantly less taxis in Singapore, but they're doing close to a million rides a day. We have 28,000 taxis on the road, but in order to meet, fully meet the demand during peak hours, we need like 41,000 taxis. And, and it's not practical simply because we don't need 40 over 1,000 taxis during off-peak hours. So where are you going to park the rest of the, you know, 15,000 whatever taxis, right? There will come a day where we'll need to explore other modes of doing this. So whether it's on taxis, whether it's sharing a ride, utilization of cars or vehicles is actually very low. Most cars in Singapore is not occupied more than 10% of the time. Right? You drive to work maybe and you park it there. So I think um, there are some initiatives that's going on to, to, to utilize all these uh, opportunities to solve the problem uh, by various parties. Yeah. Software-focused businesses like Grab Taxi are successfully demonstrating that the future of optimization may lie in specialization services and greater cooperation between hardware and software-centric business models. Clearly Grab Taxi for in this case uh, have, uh, didn't have to invest heavily uh, in fixed assets and all what they needed is, is an office and great uh, uh, ideas and, and technology folks and here they are competing with traditional businesses that have heavily invested in infrastructure and fixed assets. So the message to miss, I would think that uh, what matters going forward is great ideas and uh, and, and, and the ability to leverage from technology, to challenge the norm, to create new business models. Uh, that would de really deliver value to customers. <laughs>